are going to discuss Foley catheter insertion or retention catheter insertion. The first thing you want to do is check the doctor's order for the correct size and if it needs to be a retention catheter or a straight catheter. The next thing you want to do is to come in and introduce yourself to the patient. Hi Mary, my name's Kathy, I'm your nurse today and your doctor has ordered for you to have a catheter put in. A catheter is a tube that goes into your bladder and drains the urine. Okay, check the name band. Okay, Mary Larson. Are you allergic to iodine or shellfish? How about latex? No? Okay, good. I'll double check your allergy band. No, it does not say that you have those allergies. Okay. I will also get Mary into the position, the lithotomy position, so she will be ready for when I have the, my catheter materials. I will pull the, her gown back and uh, use a bath blanket on the top part. Sometimes just covering their top makes them feel like that they are not completely exposed. Then I will gather my supplies and bring those in. The catheter kit, if you look at the entire kit, there is a perforation on the end that just tears open. You get your package out. With a sterile kit, we open away from us so as not to contaminate. We'll open the furthest away and then the sides there again, just like sterile gloving, there's a one inch contaminated border. With the Foley kit or any sterile kit that you open, anything that hangs over the bedside table is considered unsterile. The first thing you want to do is pick up this blue cover and you're going to place it underneath the patient. And you just touch the corners of it so as not to contaminate. Mary, can you lift your hips up a little bit? Your sterile gloves are next and you just take these out and you can set them aside for now. The next drape is called a fenestrated drape and we no longer use these for male or females it looks like this and we just throw it to the side or in the garbage. Now I'm ready to touch the supplies in my Foley catheter kit and so I need to put on my sterile gloves. Please see the sterile gloving video. To make things easier, I try to get everything ready and just put it in one box. This is a label for my specimen. I do not need that right now and that does not have to be sterile. I will open up my betadine swabs and I will open up my KY jelly and I have my syringe here for water for the retention catheter. I will take these out of the package and put those down into my box here. I will take the KY jelly and set it down into the box and I will take my water and put it into the box. I can now set this aside. This would be for a urine specimen. I can now set that aside. The next procedure is to go ahead and check the bulb on the catheter to make sure that it is patent and intact. You take your syringe of water, take the tip off, and put that into the port of the catheter. And then you want to inject the water to make sure, and as you can see, that bulb is intact and holding water. So then I let back off my syringe and the water goes back into the syringe and I can just simply lay my catheter down. 
Now what I want to do is to take this catheter out slowly of the plastic and make sure that it doesn't flop on the outside of the box over here because that would be contaminated. So I just inch it out little by little and put that over. Now I'm ready to move my catheter kit over to the bed. And I'm going to pick it up on the inside. Some people will pick it up on the outside, but at this school we're going to learn that we pick it up on the inside. Mary, I'm going to be touching you now and it's going to feel cold because I will be washing you off. With your betadine swab, you do down one side, and then you do the closest, down just one swab, and then over the urethral opening. At this point, I'm going to just squeeze this KY right here because it makes it easier for me to just lubricate this tip and go ahead. I will be inserting, Mary, so you'll want to take a deep breath. And you insert until you get urine coming back through the tube. And I see urine, and then you go up one more inch. And I will be securing the catheter with these two fingers right here. And I will go ahead and inflate the balloon. And then I will give it a little tug, keeping pressure on the catheter, and then remove the syringe. The next procedure that I do before I hang the bag is to take off my soiled gloves and put on clean gloves and then you're able to clean up the patient and you're able to hang the bag on the side of the bed so that urine will drain. And the catheter bag always needs to be lower than the bladder.